Learning hand surgery one point at a time. Ulnar nerve entrapment in the Guyens canal is uncommon but can occur. We have seen that the Guyens canal is defined ulnarly by the pisiform, radially by the hamate, dorsally by the transverse carpal ligament or the flexor retinaculum, volarly by the volar carpal ligament, and more distally, the pisohamate ligament and the fibrotendinous arch that is the origin of the hypothenar muscles. As the ulnar nerve enters the Guyens canal, zone 1 extends from the proximal edge of the volar carpal ligament to the bifurcation of the ulnar nerve. It contains both volar, sensory and dorsal motor fibers. Involvement at this level signifies both motor and sensory deficits in the hand. Zone 2 extends from the level of the bifurcation of the ulnar nerve to the fibrotendinous arch which is radial and distal. Here, the deep motor branch of the ulnar nerve wraps radially around the hook of the hamate and can become compressed. Symptoms are mainly motor deficits in the hand. Zone 3 is located ulnar to zone 2. It is superficial to the hypothenar muscles and may be covered by the palmaris brevis muscle. It is predominantly sensory with only a few motor fibers to the palmaris brevis. So the deficit is almost purely a sensory deficit on the little finger and ulnar half of the ring finger.